Hey everybody, welcome to another episode from the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be doing another Hot Toys Tips video and this one is going to be on double A and triple A battery converters. Um, so I saw this idea a few months ago from Jetta Patrol on a video he posted. I think I've seen it also from Denobi 2 on a video he did where um, we're converting these diorama style bases and these thrones and they take a lot of batteries right and it's kind of finicky where you got to like go under them and turn it on or go behind and turn it on and the batteries die out really quick and it's just a hassle to even turn them on and off so the idea was we take these um, battery converters that are typically used in like candles and we put them in instead of the batteries and then you can turn them on and off through a switch they would be plugged into the wall so you don't have to worry about batteries anymore Great idea, great concept that people have thought about. That's why I love this community because people are always thinking about how to do things better with less hassle. So today I picked up a Everlasting Glow multi-device triple A battery converter and it's meant for candles, but it's got five plugs in it. So it's gonna be able to hook up to five, um, five uh, bases or accessories for our Hot Toys. Um, figures and then we also have I actually bought this on accident this is also from Amazon and this is a double a converter and you can just see we have these fake batteries with the ribbon cable and then dummy batteries that also come with it so I'm not really gonna talk about the double A's too much I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna focus on this triple a battery converter and I'm just gonna show you kind of how they install how they look when they're done and um, how easy it is to just Turn them on and off with the flip of the switch. So let's go. So if you all saw my Han Solo and Carbonite review, you would know that I said I really wish that it would have come with like a an adapter so that you could just plug it into the wall and ha always have it on because it's just really finicky with taking the batteries out and, and then turning it on and putting them back in. Plus, again, the batteries don't last very long, so it's a hassle but I want to leave this thing plugged in because it just it comes to life when it is turned on um, if you haven't seen that review head up here and check it out right now it's actually a pretty cool figure especially if you have some sideshow points so this is what we're gonna convert today and then maybe a couple of the others when we're done and I'll just show you what they look like but um, so this is gonna take two plugins we have the side of the carbonite right here and then the base also so let's just take this guy off and to Again, turn him on and off. You gotta take this out, flip it on, put it back in, and then when the you know the batteries die or whatnot, pretty shortly after. So that's just something that um, can be annoying. So let's take these batteries out. There's our three triple A's. Move those to the side. All right, let's open up this bad boy. And when it comes out, you can just see how many different plugins it has. It has five, and then the main switch is right here. Um, so yeah, it is kind of a messy situation just out of the box, but we'll figure it out. So we're gonna take two of the dummy batteries and we're just gonna put them in place. And I think this might be difficult to do because the ribbon's gonna have to come out and over. But hey, let's just see if it works. So we're gonna put this dummy battery here, put this dummy battery here, and we'll just take this dummy battery, put it here so it's gonna kinda have to, yeah, we'll see. All right, so let's put this back on. Tighten it up. Let's see here. Make sure we have it on because that's defeating the whole purpose otherwise. Okay, so not too bad. Just kind of, we folded it and it comes right out there. Okay. And we got to take the base and do the same thing. Grab a couple more dummy batteries here. Make sure that they do go in the correct orientation. 
And that ribbon is super thin, so you really aren't gonna have a problem with it, you know, coming out of that battery compartment. This can get a little bit messy here with the cables running everywhere. So there's definitely gonna be some cable management. And I would say that's probably the only, not negative thing, but one thing that you're gonna have to look out for and, and kind of manage where when you do the batteries, you don't have any cables sticking out or you don't have to hide any of them. Um, so it is kind of a give and take, you know, with that. All right, let's plug them in and see what it looks like. All right, so with a click of a button now, let's see if this thing works. He is on. That's pretty cool. You know, so maybe just so we can hide this cable a little bit better, we'll take this cable here and just run it this way and then zip tie it to the post and then it'll be, you know, that much more um, hidden. So I think that's that's gonna work great. Um, so I'm super excited about this. Let's do the uh, let's do the Emperor's chair as well. So we'll be right back and, and do that. All right, so looking at this, this has two batteries, so I don't know if this is actually gonna work. I think this only works with three battery um, housing units here. So we're gonna try it just to see, but it might not work. And this might answer a question that a lot of you have, you know, can it work with less batteries, like a one AAA or a two AAA? I wouldn't see why it wouldn't work, but you never know. That's cool, it works. I'm excited. This is gonna be really great too when I have the module cases set up. You know, with the DTOFs, it might be a little bit harder to hide the cable management. So um, I'm really excited for when I get those those module cases. I'm gonna be able to run it along the back. You know, more space too, so I can just put these as props. Let's just do Darth Vader's really quick as well. All right, so now we have the three hooked up, technically four, because this is two right here. So we could hook up one more yet, but I don't know if I have anything else. So let's just turn this on. That's cool. That's cool. I love it. I got to figure out how I'm going to display this. But in conclusion, you know, this is definitely a must buy for anybody that has a lot of this kind of stuff that they really haven't been able to use. Or if you're going through batteries like crazy, super easy way to eliminate batteries and be able to turn it on and off with the flip of a switch. Yeah, so there's different brands also. You can get um, AA, AAA. You can get some that, like this one, where it does up to five accessories. You can get three accessories, and then they have ones that just power one accessory. So there's definitely options out there for you to pick from. I would pick this up. This is super cool. I'm glad that I found this idea from other YouTubers out there. And um, now I just gotta figure out how to display them, but super stoked. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Maybe you knew about this already, but maybe you didn't. So, you know, maybe this is just another Hot Toys tip for you out there. Um, if you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and become a part of the watch. Till next time guys, stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.